Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today is gonna be, I guess, my Christmas video since I went and grabbed me some chicken, which is the big thing here in Japan for Christmas. Oh no, did my camera just conk out on me there? So I don't know when, when I lost uh, the recording capabilities. Anyhow, Merry Christmas everybody. I uh, started to film this and then suddenly I noticed it wasn't filming anymore, so I'm not sure what happened. My options are to continue filming this where I left off. <laughs> I don't know how much I actually filmed. Or try to reshoot it maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I can though because they do like reservation orders and I'm not sure if that's starting tomorrow or the day after. So there, I might not be able to actually get this item tomorrow but let's uh, let's try to review where I left off um, pretend I haven't started already <laughs> if you can there is uh, the sandwich I'm talking about here it's got some tomato sauce it's got the croquette the lobster croquette on top and underneath there's well there's cheese between and underneath is the chicken so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my first bite right now. So I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Thanks for watching all my videos, and uh, <laughs> here we go. So you can see the croquette. Um, it's sort of seeping out now. That's the lobster puree. It's obviously not just pure lobster. It's mixed in with something to give it that creaminess. The top part is a tomato sauce. A little bit, a little bit tomatoey. It's not a ketchup. The rest of it is just really dry. I mean, it's sort of gummy because there's the cheese and really, really dry chicken at the bottom there. The sandwich alone, 540 yen. This is, of course, an upgrade with the cheese on it. Without the cheese, I think it was 480. But I got a set, including a very small order of fries and. An M size drink. I got a lemonade, 870 for this set. But what do I think about this uh, lobster sandwich? O Omar, I think, is the word they use um, for lobster. This Omar sandwich. I mean, it's all right. It tastes just like I mean a chicken sandwich, and then there's a slight hint of of the sea about it somehow. <laughs> um, you know, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not something I go crazy to get again, but it's there's nothing offensive about it. If you're not into seafood, you're not gonna be like, ooh, it's it's too fishy. It's definitely not at all. But yeah, it's it's very dry, so you definitely need a drink. I wouldn't suggest just grabbing the sandwich by itself. Also, KFC recently came out with a couple like different filet sandwiches and there was a spicy one that I really liked so if I were to choose a sandwich from the lineup they have right now I think this wouldn't be my first choice there's nothing wrong with it but I don't think it would be my first choice so that's all I want to say on the matter here I mean I'm glad I tried it and thanks to you guys for joining me here you got to eat some chicken for Christmas <laughs> here in Japan it's a thing to do okay some bonus footage here Right next to the KFC in the mall there, there is a Mr. Donut. And I had to grab the latest Pokemon Donut. Now, if you remember, a few weeks ago, I tried, oh, I don't know if you can see him. There's pictures of him on the back here. But I tried all the other Pokemon Donuts that had come out at that time. This Jigglypuff had not come out. They, For some reason, they released four of them early and then just hung on to this one, well, for some reason. For the reason to get me to come back and try it, they did that. So I've come back to try the Jigglypuff Donut. I'll put a link to that video if you wanna check it out. Laura and I tried all the other Pikachu and sort of ring donuts that they had, um, but this character donut had not come out yet. So let's give it a shot. My guess was it was gonna be pretty good because it had, it had the the strawberry chocolate on it that was on another one that looked really good and this definitely has it and inside you can see that it's filled with cream so hopefully it's not a custard hopefully it's just a cream 
Anyhow, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Wow. Oh, it's very light. Cream. Mm hmm. Let's go for an eyeball. Just kind of glued on there. I wonder if I can. Let's make him cross-eyed before I before I eat his eyeballs. Okay, a little white chocolate disc. <laughs> Spooky. This is probably my favorite of all of the ones that we tried. There's no custard flavor. This was like two ninety one, I think the price was. Very subtle uh, strawberry flavor. Nice creamy flavor, very light. Yeah, definitely my favorite of the new Pokemon donuts that they just released. So I'm glad I came back and tried it. So yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching everybody. Hope you all had a good Christmas. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to thumb up this video, it really helps. And ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.